Hey everyone, it's Piper and I am back with a Q&A. I actually haven't done a Q&A at all on this channel yet, so I thought what better way than to start my channel with kind of an advice Q&A, I guess. I have pretty much just finished high school. I am currently doing my exams. But I thought it would be a really good opportunity because I've just recently done it to give you guys some advice and to get you guys to ask me some questions about my high school experience. So, without further ado, let's get into those questions. Oh my gosh, I just went through all the questions and there is so many. I did not expect to get that many. And I'm so excited, so let's do it. Alexa Morley says, what was your favourite year and what was your favourite memory? My favourite year was probably year 10 because it was kind of the year that you didn't have to be too serious about school but at the same time you were given like all of the opportunities that older kids have. Favourite memory, oh my gosh this sounds so cheesy but it was probably meeting Ezra because if you didn't know, Ezra and I met in high school. I was, I was in year 10 actually so yeah. Katie asks, advice for procrastination. I am the biggest procrastinator on the planet. It is not a good thing. And then I'll just procrastinate to the point where like, I'm just like, I don't care anymore. Like something that did help me is that Ezra would always motivate me like, babe, you've got this to do, you've got that to do. So like, if you have a person remind you, like maybe that will help. Jessica Marie Conti on Instagram asked, when was a time where you experienced peer pressure? If I'm honest, I don't think I um, gave in to peer pressure. I offered, you know, things like drinking and smoking and that kind of thing. And I, I always said no, in my opinion. But I just think smoking is nasty. There was a few times where, like, everyone was like, oh no, you should get a fake ID because all of my friends were 18. I, I didn't give in to that. I was like, no, it's only a few more months. Like, I'm glad I didn't give in to that. Compeen. I think that's how you pronounce it, asked, did you struggle with time between friends and your boyfriend or school and your boyfriend? I got this question a few times and, and I honestly can say that I didn't struggle with school and having a boyfriend at the same time. In my last year of school, I didn't have a lot of friends. Most of my friends are not, weren't actually in my school, they were friends outside of school. I didn't see my friends outside of school that often. Obviously I saw Ezra every single day and he was always there to motivate me and push me to do my best and I think that probably helped. Emmy Kate asks, during high school did you already know what you wanted to major in at college? I did know what I wanted to do in university. So I've wanted to be a midwife my entire life. So in the last few months I've had like a few doubts and I've just thought like about other career options. So my plan is next year to study nursing and midwifery. Someone asked, were you ever in any musicals or plays during high school? Yes, I was. I was casted in the school play that my school had in, I want to say 2015, but the school play was Aladdin and I was casted with my sister Brooklyn as the magic carpet. So I seriously had to like, I had like this carpet thing over my head and I had to like shape the legs and stuff because you know how in the movie they kind of move that's a really bad like <laughs> anyway it was a lot of fun even though I got a lot of crap for it Alicia Soot asked did you ever skip school or a class well I wouldn't say I skipped school it wasn't a time where my mum would for instance like drop me off at school and then I'd be like, bye mum, I'm going to school, and then like not go to school. However, there have been quite a few times where I had like pulled sickies or like made something seem worse than it was to get a day off. Don't do that. <laughs> and I don't think I technically like skipped school. Emmy Kate asked another question and it was, did you play any sports and if so, what? I wasn't much of a sporty person and I'm still not now. I did do dancing for a few years and that was so much fun. I'm not that sporty so I didn't really participate in any sports. Oh, I can't pronounce your last name. I'm so sorry if I get this wrong. Tara Vineldick asked, which subjects did you have? I did four subjects at school and one subject at TAFE. So I did English, you have to do English. I did maths, worst decision of my life. 
I did health and human development and then I did German and I've been doing German since I was in year seven so what like six years now and then the subject that I did at TAFE was kind of like before you go into nursing you do that subject Katie May asked did you go to a public or private school I went to a public school my whole life I got so many questions asking did you ever get bullied I could personally make a whole video about this. Yes, I did get bullied, especially in primary school. It was horrible. So I do want to make a video on bullying or my personal experience with bullying. So if you guys really, really want me to do that, comment down below. Delaney Ellison asked, did you date anyone? And if yes, do you regret it? Yes, I did date other people before Ezra, but not that many and it was for like three weeks like max i don't regret it they were just dates nothing happens and i got a free meal out of it so i don't know how to pronounce the name of this person so i don't really even want to try but they asked do you study every day or do you do it last minute i do not study every day and i probably should especially for the course that i want to do so frustrating before sunrise asks how are you dealing with stress love you i love you too one of my favorite things to do when i find myself in a really stressful situation always go to my bible or there's this app that i have just the bible app on the phone it has different categories so if you're stressed like you can click on the stressed emoji and it'll take you to like bible verses that refer to like stressing and why you shouldn't stress and why everything's under control and stuff like that so and that was a massive help so i would talk to ezra because a problem shared is a problem halved remember that guys someone asked what did you do if you got a bad result love you i love you too when i got a bad score in year 12 which i honestly i didn't get many there was one subject maths Let's just not talk about it, but that was probably my lowest um, scoring subject. I didn't beat myself up about it because I was like, you know what? God has a plan for me and it does not depend on this mark that I've gotten. It doesn't matter. You can still get to where you want to get. Keep put in your best effort and do as well as you can, but if you get a low mark, don't worry. Someone asked, did people say bad things about you behind your back? If so, how did you handle it? Love you. I love you too. I can't remember the last time that I heard someone say like, oh, did you know this person said this about you? If someone spoke badly about me now, I honestly wouldn't really care because the people that tend to speak badly about you are the ones that don't know you that well. I think that that's something to remember because the people that do know me and do love me for who I am, know that I'm not that bad person and you know that there's more to something that you might have said in the past or something like that. Healing Broken Heart 147 asked, are you and Ezra high school sweethearts? I guess we are because we met in high school, we started dating in high school. I was in year 10, he was in year 12. In the next 20 years I'll be able to be like, I married my high school sweetheart. Just going through the questions and Ezra asked, Best high school experience, answer meeting my future husband. <laughs> He's so cute! Pat Pizzo asked, how did you overcome friendship fights? I think to overcome friendship fights, you need to be mature enough to understand what you did that was in the wrong, or what you did that made them think that that was wrong or what you did to offend them even if you don't think that what you said was offensive i think they need to be mature enough to understand it if it was reverse and if they needed to work on something as well overcoming friendship fights especially when it's because two people don't agree is really hard especially in high school because everyone's going through different things it's really sucky so with all of that said i am going to end this video because my camera is currently telling me that i do not have enough space and i'm just waiting for it to turn off but i love you guys thank you so much for watching another one of my videos i really hope that you enjoy this q a and i will be doing many more in the future as usual if you guys have any video suggestions comment them down below i still have to figure out an outro so if you guys have any ideas as to like what you would like me to do please let me know because i'm open to suggestions I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!